Hey everyone, this is Jolin with Green Mountain Grills and today I'm going to teach you how to run a quick component check on your Green Mountain Grill Prime. First we want to take out the heat shield and grease tray inside your grill. Take out the grates, then the grease tray. Next comes the heat shield. There is a rod attached to it that you need to unscrew. We'll go ahead and start the grill so we can check your auger. You'll start to see about a quarter cup's worth of pellets feeding onto the igniter. When the grill displays zero, the auger will be feeding the entire time, pushing pellets onto that igniter. Hover your hand over the fire pot to check for heat coming from that igniter. You're going to want to make sure that you do not touch the igniter as it is very hot. Now that you're in the number two stage, you should feel a positive pressure coming from the fan through the fire pot. So now the auger kicked in, the igniter produced heat, and the fan kicked on. So we need to check the thermal sensor to make sure it's reading correctly. After the third stage of startup, you should see a temperature reading on the display. It should be pretty close to the ambient temperature outside. Now that we know the components are working correctly, it's important to put in the heat shield and grease tray properly so that the grill can come up to temperature. You're going to want to measure your heat shield position from the left wall, four and a quarter inches for the Daniel Boone, nine and a quarter inches for the Jim Bowie. Once your heat shield is properly placed, you're going to want to put in your heat shield adjustment rod. Next goes in your grease tray. The most important thing about installing this is to have the full circle, not the half moon, the full circle on the left side. The left side is going to be sitting up on the shelf near the thermal sensor. The right side is going to be sitting in the grease trough so it sits at an angle. If your problem was uneven temperatures, hot spots, or inaccurate temperatures, having the heat shield and grease tray in there correctly is usually going to fix that issue. If the grill doesn't start the first time normally or gets shut off during a startup, make sure to clean out the fire pot of any excess pellets before starting it up again. Otherwise, you might have a fire or a ton of smoldering pellets in there. After you're done cooking, go ahead and hit the power button to run it down through fan mode and shut it down properly. In fan mode, the grill runs the fan constantly until there's no more debris in the fire pot. The grill will display fan in this mode and when it's finished, it'll shut down to off automatically. If the grill wasn't shut down properly or got shut off midway through a cook, you can perform a hot start to fix this. To perform a hot start, you hit the power button once, it goes to zero, and then click it down and hold it again until you see a temperature reading. All right, well, thanks for watching. Now your components are checked. If you have any more questions or need any hints or tips, head over to greenmountaingrills.com in the video section.